as clinicians, we're always balancing aesthetics, durability, and patient health. But what if one technique could combine all three seamlessly? Meet the sandwich technique, a smart layering method that pairs the strength of composite resin with the protective benefits of glass ionomer. Let's dive into the details. The sandwich technique involves laying restorative materials within a cavity preparation. It typically uses glass ionomer cement, GIC, as a base, followed by a composite resin on top. This technique can be classified into two types. Open sandwich technique. The GIC is partially exposed to the oral environment. Closed sandwich technique. The GIC is completely covered by the composite resin. Let's begin with the closed sandwich technique. It involves layering GIC and composite resin, but keeps the GIC completely covered by composite. This method is ideal for situations where there is sufficient enamel at the margins. Indications Class 1 and 2 restorations where complete sealing is needed. Lesions where one or more margins are indented, like cervical lesions. Procedure to ensure a dry working field for effective bonding, the tooth is isolated using a rubber dam. Carefully extend the cavity preparation, ensuring proper access and support or restoration. Condition all dentin and cementum surfaces with a GI conditioner for 10 seconds. Wash and dry it. Place an increment of GIC over the cavity floor. Etch the enamel and GIC. Wash and dry it. Apply bonding agent and light cure it. Apply composite resin in increments and light cure it. Advantages The closed configuration prevents exposure to oral fluids, reducing micro leakage risks. Provides excellent aesthetics as composite can be matched to natural tooth color. Before we move on, don't forget to like this video and if you enjoy our content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Now, coming on to the open sandwich technique usually performed for class 2 restoration where the underlying material forms part of the axial wall and is exposed to the oral environment allows the gic to release fluoride providing additional protection to the tooth structure indications class 2 and 3 cavities where margins extend below enamel deep cavities with potential pulp exposure procedure follow steps 1 to step 4 as demonstrated in the closed sandwich technique Place an increment of GIC over the cavity floor, extending up to the DEJ, just short of the cavo margin at the base of the proximal box. Etch the enamel and GIC, wash and dry it, apply bonding agent and cure it. Apply composite resin over it, sculpting to achieve the desired anatomy. Light cure each layer until the restoration is complete. Advantages Enhanced fluoride release from GIC helps protect surrounding tooth structure improved adhesion due to the bonding properties of gic thanks for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and comment subscribe for more insightful dental tips and techniques